What's good, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, my boy J Bob has made quizzes for us in the past, and they've always been fire. But even people that got the reputation of making good quizzes, I still gotta send them to the Kingdom Quiz Taker just so they can confirm that the that the quiz is fire. Well, <laughs> J Bob delivered again because the Kingdom Quiz Taker said the quiz that he just created was fire. And it's pretty difficult. So you know when something's difficult, I got to tackle it. So that's what we're doing in today's video. Before we get into it, I got to do shout out to the day. And shout out to J-Bob for creating this. But let's get over to it. All right. Can you choose the who, what, and more NBA edition? <laughs> we give a J-Bob the benefit of the doubt. I'm pretty sure that he meant to put NBA. 43 questions in 10 minutes. I really don't know the format of this. But as you can see, we haven't taken it just yet. Let's get into it, baby. Are you ready for the who has averaged more section? Okay, so he broke it up to who section, what section? Okay, cool, 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 cool. That's one easy point right off the bat for just clicking yes. Who has averaged more points through their career? Dominique Wilkins is the right answer. There's a period of time where Dominique was just lighting it up, and then when he did retire, he was still pretty good he wasn't averaging like 25 but he was still okay once he retired where like other people once they hit that spot they averaging like five points per game for the last couple years because they just don't they, they just ain't realize that it's time to to uh quit lacing them up who has more assists through their entire career so we know john stockton is the all-time leader in assists but the last five or six seasons of john stockton's career he went up there averaging like 15 assists like he was but Magic Johnson has to be the right answer. Yeah, because remember, Magic Johnson, he basically retired in his prime. So he was averaging more assists per game, if that makes sense. Who averaged more rebounds throughout the career? It's got to be Dennis Rodman. I ain't got to think twice about it. If Dennis Rodman is on the list for rebounds, I'm probably going to click Dennis Rodman. Who averaged more steals through their career? John Stockton, again, is the all-time steal leader. But those last five or six seasons of his career, he wasn't doing amazing things. Like he was averaging like six assists, one steal. When people like Jordan, it's very similar, but I still think that he had some period of time throughout later in his career where he was still getting a lot of steals, and Jordan is the right answer. Who has more blocks through their career? The Ken Bay Matumbo and Sean Bradley are all up there for blocks, but the Ken Bay is in the same boat where the last couple years of his career, he wasn't doing much, so that brings down his average numbers. Zoe and David Robinson don't make much sense to me. I'm gonna go Sean Bradley. It was David Robinson. Okay, hey, first 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 L of the quiz so far. For them telling me it was pretty difficult, we've been doing pretty fine. Who averaged more points in a single season? Russell Westbrook, even though that's not how you spell Russell, it's two L's. But it's MVP season, you know. Um, who averaged more assists in a single season? Gotta be Rajon Rondo. In those Boston days, he was the best passer in the league, other than Chris Paul. Who has averaged more rebounds in a single season? I think it's Kevin Love. No, it was, oh! You know what? Andre Drummond did average like 15 rebounds per game like two seasons ago. I didn't see Drummond as an option. I was thinking Kevin Love in those Minnesota days, he was just snagging everything. So that's an L, I should read all options. That's what I'm gonna do from here on out. Who has averaged more steals in a single season? Kawhi or Chris Paul? It's, it's not Ricky Rubio, because he didn't even spell Chris Paul. Yes, all right. Who has more blocks in a single season? Surge. They called him Sergey Blocker for a reason. Yes, there we go. They called him Sergey Blocker for a reason. Are you ready for the who has more section? Yes, J-Bob. I like the way you're running this quiz, giving us some, from some free Ws just by asking us those simple questions. Who has more points through their career? So most total points is Moses Malone. Who has most assists through their career? That would be Mark Jackson. Who has more rebounds to their career? Bill Russell. See, these are the, the more career things are the easy ones. Who has more steals to their career? Mo Cheeks? Jason Kidd. Okay, I'll take that L. Who has more blocks to their career? Mmm, Dikembe? Should I go with Dikembe here? Or is it Hakeem? Hakeem or Dikembe? Dikembe. Nope, it was Hakeem. It was Hakeem. That's fine. Who has more points in a single game? Melo. Who has more assists in a single game? Is it Rondo again? I'm going Rondo again. Yeah, because those Boston days, he was literally just racking up assists. He didn't need to put the ball in the basket because he had the teammates around him that could. Who has more rebounds in a single game? That's got to be Kevin Love. He's had a 30-rebound game before. Don't sleep. Kevin Love was a killer on the glass. 
Who has more steals in a single game? Draymond Green almost had a, a quadruple double dealing with steals. I think in blocks. I don't think he. I think he had nine points, so he couldn't put up ten points. Who has more blocks in a single game? Believe it or not, the answer to this question is JaVale McGee. I don't remember what team he was playing for, but it was one game when JaVale was just blocking everything. Are you ready for the guess who section? Yeah, give us those free points. We'll take them all. Um, who has never averaged more over 30 points in a single season? Dwayne Wade? Wait, wait Steph Curry has never averaged 30, right? That the first MVP season, he averaged like 23, but the second time, he was actually maybe, he may have averaged 30. Dwayne Wade. No, Melo. It was Melo. Okay. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. If When I break it down to 50-50, I think I do pretty well. Who has recorded a triple-double, okay, and Curry currently averages under five rebounds per game? Lonzo's averaging more than five rebounds. I don't think Jason Tatum has had a triple-double yet. I got to go Alfred Payton. Yes, it is Alfred Payton. Who has averaged over 20 points per game last season, okay, has never been an all-star, under 6-4, and has only played for one team. Okay, only played for one team. Deion Waiters is off the list. Average 20 points per game, I think everybody applies. Has never been an all-star. Gotta be CJ. Devin Booker has never been an all-star, but did Devin Booker average 20 last season? I know he's averaging like 25 this year. He's lighting it up. Get real soon, Devin Booker. But CJ is the one that makes sense to me. And is the right answer. Has av oh wait, has a career average of over 15 points per game. Has never averaged over three turnovers per game. Wow. Okay. I don't know. I don't keep track of turnovers. Isaiah Thomas. It was the other Isaiah Thomas. I, I didn't have a, I mean, I guess I had a 25% chance, but that's not something. I don't track turnovers, you know? Who is the oldest player in the NBA? Vince Carter. But he's still dunking on people. Played on a team with Shaq. Okay. One rookie of the year. Played. Has played for three or more teams. LeBron has not played for three or more teams. Kobe has not played for three or more teams. And Dwight Howard has never played with Shaq. So it's got to be Amari Stoudemire. Process of elimination. Who holds the record for most field goal misses in the season? Got to be Wilt, right? Dude averaged 50. So he had to be taken. You know, think about it. Mathematically, it only makes sense. Who is currently... Who currently has the lowest salary cap for next season? It's it's the Bulls. Yeah, it's the Bulls. Has never made the playoffs. Okay. DeMarcus Cousins. Average under three turnovers. Okay, that's that's not DeMarcus. Because DeMarcus turns the ball over. He's got the ball in his hand a lot. I'm not saying that. You, you know, when you have the ball a lot, you're going to turn it over, especially as a big man. Kimba has made the playoffs. Anthony Davis has made the playoffs. So it's got to be Ricky Rubio. Wow, Ricky Rubio has never made the playoffs. This may be his year in Utah, thanks to um, Donovan Mitchell. Who averaged the most points per game in their MVP season? Kevin Durant. That MVP season was stellar. I don't think we talk about it much, but the guy, he legitimately was the best player in the league that year. Averaged over 10 points per game last season. Averaged over 8 rebounds per game last season. Born in the U.S. So, people not born in the U.S. Tristan Thompson, Paul Millsap, Tristan Canada, Spain for Paul, uh, Powell. Average over 10 points per game last season. I don't think Mason Plumlee does that. Julius Randle. There it is. There it is. That's average over 20 points per game last season. Started in over 70 games. Okay. Dwayne Wade was not averaging 25 last year. Trust me. I was watching. J.R. Smith. Oh, wait. They didn't say last season. They just said a season. So, yes. Dwayne Wade has averaged over 25 in his, at least once in his career. J.R. Smith never. Chris Paul never. But I don't think I don't think Dwayne Wade played 70 games last year. He had a period of time where he was injured, right? I watched eight, I, I watched all 82 games last year. Well, uh, basically all 82. I gotta speed it up. We only got a minute left. Gotta be mellow then. Yes. Okay. Who has won a championship most recently? Oh, I have no idea. Let's go. 76ers has the most here. Let's go 76ers. Yes. Currently plays in the NBA. Listen under five or oh, six feet tall. Average over five points per game last year. Patty Mills is over six feet. It's got to be between Tyler Eulis and JJ Barea, and I don't think Tyler Eulis averaged five last year. There it is, JJ. It's top ten in steals, and their tie career averaged under 25 points per game. That would be John Stockton. Averaged over five points per game in their rookie season, averaged under two turnovers per game last year. Over five points per game in the rookie season. That's not, 
That's not Jimmy. Under two assists or two turnovers, that's got to be Taj. Because Taj didn't have a ball much. It's Taj Gibson. He's a power four. Has played for three or more NBA teams. Has 30... Um... Under 200 threes in their NBA career. Let's go JaVale McGee. No, it was Kwame Brown. We got three questions in 30. Who is the best YouTube in the world? I don't agree with this just yet, but I appreciate you, Jay Bob. I guess it's me. Which of these podcasts and best in the world? Through the wire. You already know. If you have not been listening, you haven't sleep because we, we no joke. We put on the show two times a week. That's two extra hours of Kenny talking basketball. How can you not be a fan? Keep up the good work, man. Trust me, J-Bob. I'm trying my best. We got an 86% on something the Kingdom Quiz Takers told me it was really, really hard. The average is a 36. That lets you know. So I think we did pretty well. Shout out to J-Bob for the plug it through the wire. Tomorrow, we or uh, Sunday, we release a new episode. Last episode was a good one. Tomorrow, I already know. We record tomorrow, release Sunday. It's going to be one of our best episodes. Trust me. So do not sleep Sunday morning. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Thank you again, J-Bob, for creating this quiz. Right now, in my hand, since there is three different sections of this quiz, I don't know what the title of this video, but hopefully, by the time y'all see this, I figured out the perfect title. Um, I don't know what... Comment of the day. Let me know your least favorite player this season. Not all time. This season, what player do you hate, okay? This should be fun, because I already know a player that's going to be a lot in the comment section, but I can't wait to see your answers. Thank y'all. Peace.